Two senators close to the former president hit back on human rights groups and critics, lashing out at the president's latest decision to keep the International Criminal Court of Justice from pursuing a probe on the alleged abuses of his predecessor's bloody war against illegal drugs. Their sound bites and other details summed up are our Eunice Samuante. Abuse? Abuse? Sino bang imang target nila? Kasi gusto lang palabasin ang crimes against humanity para madamay ang Pangulo. For Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa, somebody or some people are really moving to reopen the investigation of the International Criminal Court or the ICC on the former president's war on illegal drugs under his term as the chief BNP. De la Rosa said the country's court of law work and function like they should, so there is no need for the other countries to investigate on our national issues. He even said he will never allow himself to be subjected to the international court. Bakit sila insisting? Bakit sila... Bakit siya masyado interesado? When in fact, the Filipino people doesn't want. Siguro ang interesado yung galit na galit lang kay President Duterte. Although the former PNP chief admitted abuses in the war on illegal drugs, he said the rogue cops who perpetrated them have either been punished or fired from the service. Senator Bongo also defended former President Rodrigo Duterte, citing his career as a fiscal and lawyer, presumes he is a wealth of experience and knowledge on legal issues, and he has nothing to hide from the public. The Philippines has no intention of rejoining the ICC. Ang miniting namin ay dahil sinasabi ngayon na itutuloy ang investigasyon. Eh sinasabi naman namin may investigasyon naman dito. Senator Risa Hotiveros urged nobody to obstruct an investigation. To recall, it was in March 2018 when former President Duterte had withdrawn from the Rome Statute. A few weeks before former ICC Chief Prosecutor Fatou Bensoda announced for a preliminary examination on the administration's anti-legal drugs efforts. Yunisa Monte, Fourth Nation.